again, Rob D'Amico here from Avid um, with Tony uh, to talk about our latest uh, available uh, control surface, the Avid S4. We launched this during the summer in July in Nashville and now recently released it um, is available for purchase uh, in September. And Tony is going to talk about some of, the, some of the highlights of being able to now um, use this great console uh, mixing control surface in small project studios and uh, mid-sized project studios. Thank you, Rob. Very excited to announce uh, that S4 is now shipping and you can buy it. And with that said, this is the newest product uh, within our Yukon family of control surfaces. And what we have done is take the well-known, well-established S6 workflows and put that into a more self-contained, semi-modular, affordable control surface. And to do that, we had to make sure we also took feedback from our customers. So this is a very great example of how Avid listens to our customers. One of the feedback we received for the S6 was ergonomics for the knob modules. As you can see, the new channel strip module we have introduced is actually customer driven where we have the knobs raised so you have better access and better view of your parameters. Uh, to talking about the new module, this one in contrast to the S6 module, in S6 you have the fader module and knob modules. With the S4, with the channel strip module, this is one piece from here to there and it brings in the same workflows that you are used to with the S6. One cool thing our team has done is actually take the process strip that is vertical on the SX and make it horizontal. So you can achieve the same workflow with the lesser knobs that you have on the S4. Uh, from a high picture level, the S4 comes in three different options. You get up to, uh, you choose between three, four or five foot frames and then you can also choose up to three different expansion options, including the knob module, a joystick module, or pec direct module. This is the ship self-contained. What that means is that the frame comes with a unified power supply and a router built in. So all you have in the back is one power cable and one LAN cable to connect to Yukon to. For big stages, schools, and even small format facilities and independent artists, this is the best way to get uh, mixing for immersive and of all also for traditional platforms. Thank you so much, and this is a brand new S4. Thanks, Tony. Great explanation. Again, the Avid S4 is now shipping, um, and also it's a great project, uh, a great console for music mixing and post mixing, and especially if you need to do also Atmos mixing for any of those applications. So. Come check out more information at avid.com and hope to see you uh, in, the, in a future show. Thank you.